Hello everyone, my name is James Deersley, I'm the founder of the Digital Marketing Bureau and I'm here today in LinkedIn to show you how you can tag all of your contacts, why that's important and then to talk about exporting every single contact you have within LinkedIn to allow you to play with your contacts and get more value out of them. So let me just show you, tagging is important because it allows you to segment your CMS, your database within LinkedIn. So I'm just going to show you two ways of doing that. The first way, go into your contacts tab within your network section here. And what you have is your, you've got every single contact in here that you've been speaking to recently. And you can find that because you've got this filter by all contacts. Now that basically means everybody that I've been in email contact or contact here through LinkedIn. Recommendation to you is go off of all contacts and go into connections only. That filters your search by just purely who you've been talking to within um, LinkedIn. Uh, most recent first you've got here, you can filter that by last name, first name, whatever it may be. And what you can start to do is say, well, what I want to do is filter these guys. I want to only look at my lawyers, for example, in this case. So you, what you just do, you ho hold over the person's um, photo or area, you click on the tag module and you can flick it down. And I have a tab here for lawyer. What you can also start to do is say, well, actually, hang on a second, Carl's here. I know he's an SEO specialist by looking at his very basic profile here. Now, let me just tag him. I haven't got a section in here for SEO. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add new tag in here and I'm going to put in here SEO and I will then just press save and you'll be defaulted to SEO. So the reason this is important is what you want to do as a matter of practice is let's say you want to communicate a message, you've written a really good blog post specifically for lawyers that you don't want to send out to every single one of your contacts because it's just a waste of time. So what you can do is you can start to filter and you can say well I want to filter my connections by a tag. In this case I'm going to filter it by lawyers. And so what here, I've only tagged two lawyers here, Victoria and Laura, so I'm going to select them all and I'm going to send them a message. And then what you can do within LinkedIn, you are simply sending a message only to the lawyers within your contact with a very personalized message and something of use to them. So that's one way of tagging them. The other way of tagging them, let's take, um, yeah, let's take Victoria as a classic example. Oh, here we are, Victoria Finch. So, good old colleague of mine. Um, now, what you can do here is there's another way, and this is what um, LinkedIn have added recently. They've added in a relationship and contact information side. So, what you can do is you can say, well, I want to tag Victoria. So, I can actually put in here um, a tag through this system. And again, you just drop it down. And obviously, I know she was uh, an old property fellow of mine, but she's now in um, events organization and there's a high power in that. So, I'm just going to put in here that she is in the events field. So, I can just save her that way. The other way of doing this is actually you can put in here other information as soon as how I met. So if I didn't remember how I met her, I can tag it in here. This is why it's like a glorified CMS system. The other thing I recommend you doing is just when you're exporting your LinkedIn contacts, is put in as much information as you possibly can. So put in here any information you've got about email systems or contact information, phone, addresses, and that will become relevant in just a minute. So I've just gone through a little bit there about how you can send messages to um, bespoke sections of your database. Now let me just show you how you export your contacts. The little cog up here, you click on that, then what you can do here, you have this ability to export your connections in the advanced settings side. The downfall of this, and I'll just click in here, you've got an option to do Express, um, Yahoo Mail, but I want a CSV file. I'll explain why in a second. The disadvantage is it does not pull across your tags. It's all or nothing, regrettably but it gives you every single contact you might ever have had. The limitation of Google messaging is that you can only message 50 people at a time. This way, if I open up my connections tab here, I'm not gonna show the emails too much, but um, I had my name and address and email on the other side here, but you've got every single conceivable information that you have added into your LinkedIn database, including the company, department, job title, phone numbers, call numbers, um, anything you could conceivably want from your connections are in here. So you can export them, and then let's say you're using something like a MailChimp system or Salesforce, you can import this CSV file into anything that you want. So there we go. That's a basic overview of using LinkedIn connections, tagging them, importing into external systems from an exported file. I hope that's helped. My name is James Deersley, the founder of the Digital Marketing Bureau. Thanks, everyone.